Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this. I'm currently in Philippines. As you could see, it's very green, it's very beautiful, it's very hot. That's just my boxing gloves, uh, my boxing shorts, my boxing wraps, all that stuff, all that good stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna show you in this video what's, what's my pass for the next week um, for Forex. I know I, uh, I've been online or on YouTube for a very, very long time. Um, for different reasons, I was trying to really focus on on the trading process because uh, in the last video I had my first withdrawal and then uh, basically that went well. After that, I got into drawdown, I think around four or five percent, which was of course wasn't very nice. So after that, I decided to refocus and not getting distracted. So I let me see if this is still good. So I decided to just focus purely on, on trading only. So I'm gonna show you first my uh, Alpha Capital Group account, my funded account, to see what's happening there. And I'm gonna show you my pass for the next week. So today's Sunday, 6th of October. I'm gonna show you what I'm planning for the next week. I feel like my skill set improving and upgrading every single week. Every single week I'm getting better. Currently it's been over a year, so I believe it's uh, year and five months or four months since i started trading and i had my first two withdrawals which is great if com considering the first year i was just losing after losing so let's go on the screen here to my alpha capital you can see this one i'm gonna reset this so you know i'm not just screenshot screenshotting this currently the equity is 97.7 thousand and i don't know where you can see uh largest profit where can you see my withdrawals this is my trades uh, i believe it's in profile payout yeah you can see this is my two Let me zoom in so this is my two withdrawals zoom in uh, one is on 6th of May and that was 1150 plus a bonus which I got got with that um, because I got 100,000 funded so my first withdrawal was a bonus I think it was like $250 or $500 actually yeah $500 and the second withdrawal was here 13th of August and that was thousand dollars so it could be more but then I lost that lost that few trades and then uh, but it was my withdrawal date so I decided to withdraw that so that's so that's my two only withdrawals. I'm not here to uh, lie to you or anything that I, you know, I made so much money, anything like that. But it's amazing to me that I can actually make withdrawals. So it's October, it's been two months since my last withdrawal. Actually in a few days, it's gonna be two months. So hopefully in the next few weeks, I'm gonna make my biggest withdrawal. I'm planning to withdraw at least 5K, uh, $5,000, which will be great. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, I'm gonna show you my trades for the next week. So I'm currently in this trade, Euro AUD. The daily, I don't really like the daily because it's still in bearish mode. But if you look at the weekly, it's still nicely, nicely bear, uh, bearish, nicely bullish. So we bounce from this area, from the support. Very, very simple trade. On the daily, even that we are still bearish, I like the four hour, four hour chart that we went into bullish mode and I'm planning to take my profit one to five, probably around this area, somewhere I can close it. Um, but if this position is gonna come back here on a one hour, where I have my alarm set, I'm gonna enter another position, stop loss underneath the last price and take profit the same as this one. So probably something like this. That it will look like now next one i'm waiting is nzjpy this was in bearish mode before but currently now if you look at the daily and weekly that we are in we flip bullish so weekly is bullish daily is bullish four hours bullish as well so what i'm waiting for now is to just come back potentially here or potentially to this area but i'm absolutely i'm a little bit up above here next one is kate jpy Canadian dollar JPY, basically the same thing as the NZT JPY because 
as you know if you've been training for some time or if you haven't basically if you have one pair or if you have one JPY the, the rest of the pairs are pretty much similar in somewhat sense so KJPY, okay, EuroJPY, GPPJPY, USDJPY they all run in a similar sequence I would say of course not every time but most of the time they run very very uh, similar so this one is CAT JPY, Canadian Dollar JPY. I'm waiting for break and retest. Oh, we actually break out now. I'm just waiting for a retest on a daily. Same Euro JPY, waiting for exactly the same thing. GPP JPY, same, exactly the same thing. USD JPY, waiting for the same thing, exactly. I like USD JPY the most because we clearly break above this, this resistance. You can see here on the four hour and uh, and a daily, I believe, yes, on a daily. So we clearly break above, so we're nice and bullish. So I'm just gonna wait for this trade to come back here. I think I got it, I, I think I marked it here. To come back here and then buy uh, from there. I don't really like this EMA that is still a bit far away. So that's why I put this arrow here as well. That is potentially another support area. We'll see if I get my entry signal or not. Next one is UNZD and that went uh, let me see on the daily I was I was selling before uh, I tried to buy here but that obviously didn't work out so now we uh, clip bullish again on daily so what I'm waiting for is to basically just to retest and then we have another one another one GPB and ZD is basically the same thing as your NZD I'm just waiting we, we break above previous resistance so what I'm waiting for now is to just to come back and retest and i want on you and i run is usd cat i'm not really sure about this one because we are touching the ema on the daily and the four hour is bullish right now but i will see what's gonna happen with the price action next and the next one is gpp usd very clean looking chart i really like this especially on the weekly it's nicely support you know it was a support here and now it looks like we're gonna <clears throat> test the support here and we're gonna go higher from here so on a four hour i'm waiting for this the price to go up down so break above test it and then we're gonna go out there my my position will be something like probably something like um, this potentially my take profit will be something like this so if that's going to happen i don't know i'm gonna waiting for my entry signal i'm gonna go from there so that's my pairs for the next for the next week uh by the way if you want to see my space my place so this is it uh there's another floor it's like an attic attic bungalow attic house there's my uh all my clothes there's no really cabinet so i just made this i just made this as a as my cupboard there's my bed there's a window, there is a wall, there's nothing, there's no view. And this, there's a door. To be honest, this place, considering um, how much I'm paying, I'm paying around 35,000 pesos, which is, I believe, 700 bucks. This is what you get. Um, if I stay somewhere, somewhere else in Philippines, I will get much, much more for my money, especially if I live uh, in Thailand or, or Bali you get much more than this, I believe as well. So Shiagao, where I'm currently now, Philippines, is a little bit more expensive than other places I lived before, but that's okay. Shiagao is still a cool place. So yeah, this is it. Oh, by the way, there's a bathroom, but there's nothing special, so it's just a bathroom. This is my purse. Hopefully next week is the week we're going for, and I'll see you guys next week, next Sunday, when I'm gonna show you another purse which I'm gonna be trading. By the way, if, you, if you're if trying to copy these trades, it's on your own risk. Don't just blindly copy these trades, like make your own decision, make your own analysis and decide for yourself if you if you should enter or not, or not. Up to you guys, don't lose all your money. I'll see you next time.